Hey you guys, I hope everyone is having a great day so far. So, there's really not much going on with Fortnite right now. There's no new news, no leaks, no nothing like that. Hopefully next content update, uh, you know, we'll see some stuff. But today's video, I decided to give a little showcase of my locker, maybe see how much it's worth. Uh, maybe we could do like a series kind of thing, you know, like where you guys send me your lockers and I could do the same thing. Uh, before I get into it, just wanted to remind you guys again, the iconic skin giveaway I'm gonna be announcing the winner before March 26th so that's what like four days so if you haven't entered make sure to do so if you want to know how to enter just check the description of this video and we're also doing a V-Bucks giveaway that's on my Twitter page it's my pinned tweet so you could just go check that out on how to enter so anyways let's get right into the video one more thing that I forgot to add some good news is I got my hands on another iconic skin so as soon as this iconic skin giveaway ends I'm gonna be starting a whole nother one with different details that I'll be telling you guys in a different video as soon as it's available um, so basically how I'm gonna break this down is I'm gonna quickly go through the skins pickaxes gliders emotes and the wraps and tell you how much I think that they're worth um, so basically I'll break it down so for the skins Obviously the exclusive skins are a little hard to tell how much they're exactly worth because everyone has their own opinion. But basically we'll take the Galaxy and Iconic for example. The way to get these is you buy a thousand dollar phone but there's other people out there that sell them. Um, I know the Iconic right now, yeah, the main average price I'm seeing them sold for is 105. Uh, the Galaxy was selling for around 70 um, but that's but you know it's like 70 or 80 is my point so I just took the average of all the prices and that's how I came up with it as for the other ones um, Royal Bomber that one's an exclusive that one's like a solid fifty dollars I've never seen it below or above um, but again there might have been like some nice people that sold it for cheaper but I just did the average price on all the exclusive skins um, battle pass skins I did not include whatsoever so like you know Battle Pass, um, like the Royal Knight I didn't include, um, what else, where's Battle Pass skins, come on, onesie, you know, skins, uh, Black Knight, those kind of skins, I didn't include in the price, so just keep that in mind, but basically it's pretty simple to figure it out, every single skin from the item shop, if it's green, then it's worth, um, $8, since it's 800 V-Bucks, if it's blue, it's worth $12, for 1200 V bucks. If it's purple, it's worth 1500 V bucks, $15. And then if it's gold, it's worth $20, 2000 V bucks. So I'll quickly go through all my skins Black Knight, Twitch Prime. Uh, Twitch Prime, I also did not include in the price since technically they're free um, if you had Twitch Prime, but they're still exclusive, so I don't know. So basically, my point being is that. The price that I'm going to give you guys for just the skins is more than what it actually is because people pay for just for an account for season one battle pass skins. You know what I mean? Um, like the Black Knight, people pay for a Black Knight account for like 50, 100 bucks for just the Black Knight. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through the skins Kuno, Marshmallow, Mary Marauder, Onesie. The exclusive skin, obviously Royal Bomber. I bought a controller. There was, a, I think it was a few months ago, they were doing a promotion where if you bought a PS4 controller, you got a free Royal Bomber code. That was a no-brainer. I instantly bought one. Uh, Rust Lord, OG Battle Pass, uh, Sparkle Specialist. Keep in mind, guys, I'm literally running 30 plus hours with no sleep, so I'm really sorry if I stutter or lose my words a little bit, but. Oh my god, I am exhausted. I just can't nap, can't fall asleep. My life sucks right now. Use code 2NDSUXX in the item shop to help me sleep. Uh, Renegade Raider. So, the best offer that I've gotten for just the Renegade Raider was about $200, $250. But at the same time, I've never really advertised to sell it. Those are just people that randomly message me being like, hey, I'll pay you $250 just for your Renegade Raider. Um, so, the average price I put down for Renegade, I think, was I put down a hundred dollars. Uh, Maven, obviously, I didn't include any of the PS Plus exclusive skins. So basically, what I did include was exclusive skins. I took their average price and item shop skins. 
That's pretty much it. That's what I included. And obviously the secret skins from all the challenges I didn't include. But just so you guys could see my, my full locker. I don't think I've ever shown my full entire locker before. Wild card. I bought him the second he came out just because I thought he was going to be super rare. Cloak scar, uh, cloaked star. See, this is what I mean. I really need to get some sleep, man. I just can't help it. Um, cloaked star is one of my favorite skins. I don't know why he's not favorited. PS Plus skin. I'm pretty sure you can't claim any of the PS Plus skins anymore. But I have all the PS Plus skins. Wukong. Uh, there's so many skins that I wish that I could return. Um like Wukong, I bought him when he first came out and I think I've used him twice. Same with Funk Ops. I bought him when he first came out, used him twice, never used him again. I really hope that they bring like you know, permanent refunds or like you could refund a skin that you bought a year ago. Um starter packs I did include in the price by the way. Just because I I'm pretty sure I've bought in every single starter pack. But that's it for all my skins. Again, I didn't include any Battle Pass skins. I only included exclusive skins, starter packs, um, and item shop skins, obviously. So, drum roll. For skins alone, where's my calculator? I had it. I had $834 for the skins. Now, my math might be wrong, because like I said, I'm 30 plus hours with no sleep. If you guys want to do the math and comment down below if you guys got a different answer, but I got $834. The reason why it's $834 is because I believe one of the starter packs, or two of them, uh, were $6 instead of 5 And now on to uh, no backblings, because you can't purchase those separately. Alright, you can, but I haven't purchased any of the separate backblings that have been in the item shop. So, pickaxes. So obviously, again, same deal. I didn't include the battle pass pickaxes, but something like this uh, pickaxe, the Excalibur, this is from the Season 1, so obviously this one's pretty rare. Someone would pay a decent amount for it. Um, but for the item shop pickaxes, um, what was I going to say? How does it go? Is it, it's 1200 yeah it's 1200 for the purple epic pickaxes so all the ones that you've seen in the item shop like pot of gold dark shard uh, rainbow smash thunder crash all those are 1200 v bucks which is twelve dollars the green pickaxes are 500 v bucks which is five dollars um, and then blue is what 800 I believe. Well, the crowbar is from the challenges, but like the dragon axe, this one right here was in the item shop. That one was 800 V-Bucks, so that's $8. Just so you guys can understand where I'm getting all my numbers from, the ski boot was 800 V-Bucks, so that's $8. So all in all, these are all my pickaxes that I have. I don't buy too many pickaxes, just once in a while when I find a really cool one. Um, so the number I got for pickaxes was a hundred and seventeen dollars. I'm not sure why it's an odd number though. Five hundred, eight hundred. Why would it be an odd number? I must have added something wrong. All right, we'll 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 say like a hundred and fifteen or something. I don't know. I don't know where I could have done my math wrong. But we'll we'll say a hundred dollars. Okay. Hundred dollars. I'm just like, ugh, my mind is like scrambled right now. Um, I don't have too many pickaxes. The first pickaxe I ever bought was the pink flamingo, and uh, I haven't used that one in months. Right now, I basically use the galaxy axe and thunder crash. Those are like the two pickaxes I mainly use, um, and the marchy smasher once in a while too. So we'll just call it a hundred for the uh for the pickaxes and then we had 834 for the skins on to gliders so for gliders i only got 40 dollars total 
that I've spent at least, but not what it's worth. Because like I said, I didn't include any Battle Pass stuff. Um, so the first glider I ever bought was the Prismatic. The reason I bought this one first was because this was like the first animated glider that came out. It looked a lot different when it first came out than it does now. It looks a lot more animated now than it did back then. But this is the first one that I bought. Um, Cloud Strike I bought. Frostwing. So I believe the legendary gliders are 1500 V-Bucks, which is $15. The golds are... I mean, uh, the purples are 1200 which is 12 And then the green, I believe, is 5 Right? 500 I believe it's 500 So all in all, gliders is $40. Because I don't really spend too much money on gliders. Just because you only see them for like 20 seconds a game. And emotes... Okay, emotes is a lot more. So, I don't really want to, like, spam all the emote noises. But for the emotes, total, I had $107 for all the emotes that I've bought in, in the item shop only. <clears throat> so that doesn't include any Battle Pass emotes. Um, so purple emotes are 800 Green, <clears throat> excuse me. Green emotes are 200 and blue emotes are 500 so that math was pretty easy um, although it's still an odd number I got 107 I've got to be doing something wrong here oh no I know why oh my god I'm so I'm such an idiot uh, I wasn't adding it in the calculator by like 1200 V-Bucks plus 1200 V-Bucks I was just adding it by the actual dollar amount what the V-Bucks are worth you know what I mean so like if a glider or an emote was 500 V bucks in the calculator. I just put a five. That's it. Um, so all in all, for emotes, 107 dollars. And I'll just go through, you know, like the good emotes. I don't have to show you guys like any of the green ones. Uh, I hate that one. The It's Go Time. I just hate the music to that one. I, I don't know. Ugh. They need to do better emotes in the Battle Pass. I mean, which one was it? The Robot? Um, season 2 or Season 3? Whatever one uh, John Wick was in. That emote in the Battle Pass is like probably the best one. Recently, I'm not a huge fan of the emotes in the Battle Pass. That's just my opinion, though. And that is it for all my emotes. I believe the first one I bought was Electro Shuffle, just because I thought that one was really cool. Um, I end up buying a lot of emotes and I barely use them. Um, and last is the wraps. So wraps is like pretty much a new thing, and they haven't been too many in the item shop yet. And if they are, they're pretty cheap. So in total, I've spent seventeen dollars on wraps. Um, I had all the math written down before, but now that I'm actually here talking about it, it's, I'm like drawing a blank. Um, so sprinkles, so I think all the green ones that were in the item shop were 300 and the one blue wrap that was in the item shop was 
this one and this one was 500 so that's why it's only 17 so to recap 834 for all the skins about 100 115 for all the pickaxes $40 for the all the gliders 107 for emotes and 17 for wraps so we have over a thousand dollars so what is that I'll add this up real quick which I should have done before like I said guys 30 plus hours no sleep I'm so sorry um, 834 I've never done this before like getting the exact or it's not the exact amount how much my account is worth but the gist of it of how much I've actually spent on the game not including any battle pass stuff um, 834 boom boom One, two, ten, forty. I don't spend a lot of money on gliders I just think it's pointless you only see them like 20 seconds a game you know what's the what's really the point so all in all and again obviously I'm probably like maybe twenty to forty dollars below or above but I got one thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars and again that's not counting any battle pass stuff or any of the secret skins from the challenges so over a thousand dollars my account is worth at least because you gotta think all those season one battle pass skins have to be worth a good amount of money or maybe not a good amount maybe like a hundred two hundred I don't know but I've been playing this game for a long time and I love Fortnite so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to do more locker stuff like if you guys want to send me your lockers or we'll do like a weekly thing where like 10 people send me their lockers and we could all vote who has the best locker you know something like that um, to let me know what you think down in the comments what you guys would want to do or if you just don't want to do anything at all like I said, I just wanted to do this video because a bunch of you guys were asking, and there's literally nothing going on as far as Fortnite news or leaks. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm sorry I'm so tired. Um, hopefully, I'm going to fix my sleep schedule soon, or go see a doctor, probably. Um, so, don't forget to look out for the giveaways. Enter them if you haven't already. Use code Second Sucks 2 nd S U X X. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. If you guys could do all that, I'd be very grateful. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope